All right, let's get rolling here this morning. All right, so we're, we're going to have a conference call uh, tomorrow at 4.30 uh, to 5 p.m. That's um, on 2.23. Um, so this is going to go over uh, the algo we're getting out to you. Uh, I'm going to have this over to Gerald um, this weekend. He's going to start wrapping it. This is the momentum algorithm. It looks for momentum uh, trading. Hold on one second, we type something zero there. Make sure we're good for 4.30. So 4.30 tomorrow at, uh, we'll record this. But we're going to go over this uh, tomorrow. This is yesterday. Um, I'm going to show you how to work this on all time frames. Um, uh, not uh, time frames and all Rinko sizes. You can use this on different Rinko sizes that you want to use. Um, whether you're looking for a position trade whether you're looking for scalping. Hey, Paul, good morning. Uh, yesterday, uh, it was short at 40.51, and it covered at 40.15 and three quarters. Um, I did add one thing that uh, Phil had uh, uh, wanted us to do, uh, added four ATRs in here, not just one trailing. Uh, but this is a real neat um, algo that strictly picks up momentum in the market. And uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, go into the strategy tomorrow and uh, look for different swings, how to use it. So if when, once we look at it, we do have a trend filter built into it. You can take trend or non-trend trades. And I'm going to go in detail how to do this tomorrow. Uh, but we can take trend or non-trend trades with it. Um, and we're going to go into all this. Targets I have at 1,000 ticks. Stop is irrelevant because I use a trail stop. The trail is where the stop's going to be, so it's whatever comes first. So if you're using, let's say, a 20 Rinko, you can put your stop at 21. If you use a 13 Rinko, you can put your stop at 14. Um, if you're using just uh, momentum trades on smaller time, uh, smaller Rinkos, you can put your trail all the way down to, you know, if you're using a 13, you can keep it tight one tick above 14. I will have three additional trails that will be on here. Uh, like our um, like our our, our wave uh, trader that you'll be getting out also um, your your plus targets you know, I have a break even you can break even plus one tick you can have the break even on or off but here's what's neat about it I built in the momentum to a very simple uh, uh, a very user friendly um, uh, retracement strategy. We all know that our momentum trades work very, very well. And um, they work very well on multiple Renko bars, multiple uh, time frames, uh, whether you use you know, minute charts, uh, our, our Sim Renko, the Uni Renko, whatever you use, they work very, very well, the momentum setups. So what I did is I want to make it very simple for traders. I have what's called a retracement strength, a single strength, to, to find these setups internally with the algorithm. So you're going to have you're going to have one strategy that comes in and J wave that a lot of you will use will use the tweezer trades where is it at tweezer right here the tweezer toggle switch I'll go over that tomorrow too you'll have this with overall uh, um, zone trend it works very very well I'll go over the results tomorrow on different Rinkos a lot of you will like to use this with the zone indicator that we have that we show in the room very very accurate um, and I'll show you how to use that tomorrow but you can see with our other algorithm you're going to be getting a little bit more in depth I'm going to show you how to put these in these values in a little bit more uh, in depth on the parameters right what you have to do to put in inputs and stuff like this uh, we do have a wave one you can use I'll go over that tomorrow night after a trend change as a toggle switch uh, we do have the tweezer which I think you'll love the the most the tweezer and the wave ones really like the tweezer and wave one together but we'll go over that but the the one that really is nice and neat is this one I'm gonna be getting out with it because everything's built into the algo. The retracement strength tells me this. 
if the market is really hard and downtrend, so let's say a lot of times we break market profile to the outside, meaning we come from a balanced market to an imbalanced market, that's typically when you get the, the momentum trades, right? Well, we're in a balanced market, we're inside, and then we break outside of a balanced market. And then you get that big run to the upside or downside. Well, if you want to see imbalanced market, you want to keep this strength level to zero is the best. So because you don't want a lot of retracements. If you're going to break outside of market profile or break below LVA or break outside HVA, typically you don't get a retracement on a momentum setup. It's very, very shallow. And then the market starts hitting the buy stops or sell stops, and it starts really cranking the upside or downside. If you're in an oscillating market, and the market's going, you know, in between high value and low value, you have deeper retracements. Well, then, you know, your retracement strength can be higher. You're not looking for momentum. There's not shallow retracements. You got deeper retracements. You can increase your value on your on your retracement strength. So. You know, I don't like going higher than eight um, because that's going to catch all the trades that you really, really are looking for. Uh, so if you want a lot of multiple, multiple, multiple trades during the day, you want a high retracement strength, I mean a higher number. If you want very low, uh, very minimal trades during the day and it cherry picks trades for you, this is all built into the algorithm based upon my momentum settings. In other words, we all know my extreme momentum setup is one of the best setups you can get. If you put zero, it's pretty much going to catch every single extreme momentum setup that's out there. I mean, it's going to catch them pretty much 90% of them, all right? If you put one down, it's going to catch uh, retracement strength of the extreme MOMOs and some of the really high-end, I mean, the high, uh, low retracement strength MOMOs. It will catch both of them, one to zero. If you just want to catch all extreme MOMOs, you hit single strength and hit there, and now it's going to catch a zero means extreme momentum. That's strictly momentum when I'm looking for the market to do this. I'm looking for that market to give me an extreme momentum, momentum setup. And what extreme momentum setup is where you have the oscillator and the zones are cranking down hard right here. That's where you're seeing these big blow-offs, sell-offs blow off rallies where you get this big directional momentum push that's extreme momentum so I'm going to show you tomorrow if you put zero it's only going to look for these trades that's it <clears throat> with with zone direction all right right here you're still looking for these big extreme momentum pushes right here so we'll pick this up big extreme I mean these are not small trades 68 down to 47. You're below 20. Let me find a buy for you. Let's find an extreme buy. Extreme buy, buy, buy. Hold on just one second. Let's look for an uptrend. Right here. Here's an extreme buy. Let's find an extreme buy again. They don't come up very often. When they do, they're very explosive on this time frame, on this Rinko. Right, right here's a sell-off again. You see how explosive they are? Very explosive. That was what 22 and three quarters down to 05. So if you put zero, here's one. See this explosive move. This will actually, if you don't have your trend filter on, it caught all this move. You can have it off too. It works well. It caught that move up there. The high was 13 to 48, almost 50 points. So if you have that extreme on or zero, it's going to catch the extreme. Here, an extreme sell caught this big move down. You can see it cherry picks a trade. See this big sell. So that's what it's going to do. So if I have, if I want just extreme momentum sells with my zones, right, with my zones, then I'm going to have it the trend filter on. If I want it without my zones, I can take them both. So I want to put zero for extreme, and I'm going to go over all this in the conference call tomorrow. Let's say I want I want the extreme and regular momos. What are what one tells me is this: the retracement is going to be very very light, meaning it's going to be a very small retracement. Let me find one. 
what this is is right here. It's going to catch this trade right there, where it's a very small retracement and get you in at the low of that bar for the big push. All right, that's so one is going to be very small retrace. I'll find another one here, another one. It got you along here. Very shallow retracement because those are momentum plays. You see how neat this algo is. This is probably going to be your favorite algo of the two because it works so well. So here it caught the extreme Momo. That caught the extreme Momo down. Here's a shallow retracement. Caught the shallow up. So you can see here's extreme Momo up. So you can see shallows work very, very well in the market. There are pauses in the market, so it won't take any of these trades. It only takes shallows. So you can see a chart there, it takes, takes that shallow right there. So in this extreme. So when you do that, okay, it can cherry pick shallow and, and trade. Now, if you widen it, so if we go to a wider retracement strength, so let's say three or four or five, then it's going to widen it. So then what's going, it's going to do, it's going to look for these wider retracements or trend. So let's say we're trending down. This is a deep retracement, right? So you'd have to have that on an extreme level. So if you want trade retracements like this, you want it to be on an, uh, an eight. So eight or below will take all of them then. We'll take all these setups, right? So I'll show you how to do that tomorrow night. Let's say you want to do this. Let's say you want to go in and you say, okay, I really love your extreme momentum setups. They're very powerful because they catch the speed of the market. You would hit zero and you hit single strength. Single strength would be there. Now it's only going to look for extreme momentum setups. It will not take any trades at all unless it's extreme momentum. None. If there's no extreme momentum in the market, it's not going to take any trades on any time frame, any Renko bar. I don't care if you're a scalp trader. I don't care if you're a position trader. So if I well, let me just show you. If I click zero and I click single strength, okay, and I enable the strategy, it's only going to take extreme momentum setups that have extreme momentum only. It won't take anything else that doesn't have anything extreme. So it's going to have to show me extreme momentum in the market. Second. It's going to show me single extreme momentum in the market. Or it won't take any setups. back up so we'll go with that tomorrow night at 4 30 at 4 30 we're going to go over exactly how to do all these so if there's if you put to zero zero is already zero nothing below so you don't have to get single strength but if you wanted one are zero and one, meaning you're looking for little shallow retracements, which is very strong momos, and extreme momos together, which that's going to be your optimal setting. If you want the most accuracy, you'll want it on that setting because it's looking for strictly hard momentum up, hard momentum down to the downside. That's when the market's really moving. You're looking for shallow retracements on larger Rico sizes, smaller Rico sizes, larger tick chart, smaller tick chart, whatever you do is looking for that push, all right? So if I skinny this down, these are all momentum setups. Either it's an extreme momentum, this is this week so far, it's looking for extreme pushes in the market, all right? Looking for really big extreme pushes in the market um, on as far as this goes. So we'll go over that tomorrow night. We'll go over different Rinko sizes. I'll show you how it works on, uh, you know, your, your 20s, your 30s, and up and down. 
and I'll show you how, as far as that goes. Also, tomorrow night, what I'll do is I'll show you how um, this is what's called a tweezer with momentum trade, how we'll look at the wave pattern. So this one, both programs caught it. This is a tweezer zone Momo cell, right? So the wave caught it. And then also my Momo chart caught it. So if you have this setting to zero, it caught this trade on your one program, your strategy you're beginning. And the other strategy, it caught it also, the zone strategy, because it is a tweezer. That's a tweezer, and it has a momentum filter built into it, so it caught them both. I'm going to show you how to uh, implement that on the other uh, tomorrow, and you'll be good to go also. All right, so... Here, if you, you have your setting to a lighter wave, I mean a, a one or below, or two, uh, two or three or below, it would have caught this momentum cell also uh, with the zone. So I'm going to show you how, how to do that uh, tomorrow. Right now we have had no momentum setups at all. If you look, there's no momentum in the market. If you take a look since midnight, Have we had any momentum in the market? None. Right? So we've had no momentum in the market. So has the has the algorithm picked up any trades? No. It's run no trade since midnight tonight. It got short yesterday at this level at 815 yesterday at 4051 and held it all the way in close. So you don't have to use this running uh, uh, zone. If using smaller, let's say let's say you use a 20 a Rinko, you may want to keep it 21 tight on your ATR and catch that as one trade. If you want catch this as one trade real tight on your on your trail and catch this as one trade all the way into the close. As far as this frame goes, it did three trades on a smaller frame. Doing that way. Or if you're a position trader, you say, hey, I only want to put one or two trades on a day. I'll show you how to do that, where you position yourself and go that way. If you want to do it this way also, so let's take a look at the results just from this as far as this goes. We want a high reward to risk, meaning when you do this, my largest winning trade, and remember, hypothetical results are not indicative of future results, so let's make sure we understand that. I mean, we all know that. That's why we signed risk disclaimers. But your largest winning trade was 2,000. Smallest was 150 as far as this goes. 80% on the trades. A really high profit factor. These are things you want to see before you even start sim trading it. So I made it so the fill is going to simulate live fills on whatever Rinko that you choose when you start testing this. So this was going to, this fill on, as far as this, Rico, it filled at the low of the second bar, which is a realistic fill on a live fill. If you get live filled on Rico bars, you're not going to fill the middle or the high or the open the next bar. It's simply the low of the first bar of the second bar if you guys trade live. So when you do this and you come in and you find a, a market you like, you click, you don't have to go through the painstaking trouble of trying to back test everything and market replay everything, which I'll show you how to do. I'll show you how to use Strategy Runner on this also. I mean strategy analyzer. But when we hit this and we hit analyze, it's pretty much going to give you, if you would have since 212 to 222, you know, if you would have did this from those dates, you're going to be somewhere in this ballpark because I'm trying to simulate live based upon getting filled at the low of these bars. So the best thing to do is when you, and I'll show you how to do this tomorrow, when you get into doing this, and you hit the and you hit analyze on this Momo. You hit analyze. Go back and do your sim. Then go into market replay, right? We'll go into uh, historical data, and then we'll go on to get market replay, and we'll replay this exact time our time slot days that you just did, and you're going to be really really close from the same same parameters that you put in. You're going to be really close to this. And I made as close as I could. I made as close as I possibly could. 
what happens with a lot of these strategies that these vendors get out is that the problem is this they give you the best case scenario to fill they'll say you get filled at the open of the bar or high up here short where the shorts actually at the two bars down or three bars down with slippage so I try to add in slippage as much as much as possible to give you a realistic possible um, idea when you're testing this to make your testing a little easier. You know, you're not going to fill in the middle of the bar or quarter of the bar down here. You get filled at the low or two bars, sometimes three bars below. It could even be four bars below, right? So I try to make it as close as possible. So what you can do then, you can if you get something close like this that you like, and you come in here and you like it and the results look good. These are the results that look good on this is the uh, big contract and since yesterday to 212 that, that's pretty good results so if you like those results then you say okay let me go now into uh, let me go now into market uh, historical data and let me replay that data as long as you want and get my market replay I'll show you how to do that tomorrow night and we'll replay that same data I'll show you how it's pretty close right and if you match up all right, then now you're ready for sim. Now what you want to do is you want to turn this turn this on and you want to go into strategies and you want to turn this on to sim. And you want to start seeing it trade trade in market sessions under sim. Here's your account under sim. Now you're going to start seeing these trades and let it run all day. Let it run all week. Why why you're seeing if you're if that if it's working well, whether it be scalping, position trading, because you went through three processes then. Then what you can do is you can take another step and then if you want to turn on your live data, you click it and it shows where you can turn on your, on your live data and you put your live data in there and you can put it under your live to, 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 run, to make it run live. All right? But before you even run the live big contract, if they can't make money on the uh, ticks on the micro, you can't make money on the large contracts. So what you can do then is you can go, you don't need four contracts. If you, you can start out with the micros and go smaller contracts. So let's say you just want one contract. So we go under one, one contract and click one. If you want to do the big contract in one contract, it's $500. Most, uh, most margin requirements are $500 per one contract. Right? And you can see how your fills are per one contract on the big contract or go to the micros, which is the MES. And then you can start seeing how your fills are. Because if you can't get to your first target on one contract, you're not going to get your target on four contracts, right, as you test the program. So when you want to do live, we, might, we, we, we make you sign a risk disclaimer, obviously, because um, auto trading and, and strategy trading is very aggressive. A lot of things can happen. Computer could go down. All things can happen, right? So we make you sign the risk disclaimers. We all know to have our brokerage account number ready to call with our account numbers. If our computer goes down, flatten the positions. There's certain things we'll try to help you with, but if you do decide you want to take the next level and use this on an automated feature, then we will allow you to do that, and uh, you can you can do live a strategy if you sign a risk disclaimer. All right, but you can do that also. That would be the final option, and we'll let you guys know. We'll, we'll show you guys how to do that. All right, so that's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night at 4.30, we're, we're going to crank through that for about a half hour, no more than 45 minutes, um, uh, and then we'll, get, uh, we'll go over all that stuff, and then we'll get this out to Gerald. You guys can start going at it. I try to make it as simple as possible to go, guys. I made it very simple in this one. I said, listen. We got a retracement strength. If you want extreme momentum plays, we all know if you're a member in this room, one of your favorite setups has to be an extreme momentum setup. I mean, it has to be. It's one. Of, am, am I right or what? Members, am I right? Extreme momentum is one of the best setups you're going to get for momentum. Extreme momentum when it comes up on many right side. I mean, you trade it a lot, and tall. You know, you look at it a lot. They are one of the most explosive setups because there's momentum you're going into a vertical market so when we're going into a vertical market so if you do that we want to keep that at zero we also know that momentum setups by themselves are very powerful the right we both know that 
and you, you guys talk in the room a lot about those momentum setups. And great job yesterday, both of you, on those trades. Both of you had some, some nice trades yesterday on the momentum. So, hey, congratulations on that. So um, we know that. So if you just want those and you want to automate, automate the trading on just those, then you want zero, Sal. You want zero, Paul, right? And if you want very shallow retracements and those together, put one. Let's say you want, if you just like the uh, um, just extreme, just leave it to zero. And for those that you want to trade all of the levels with the zone, mean you want to take all of momentum setups, right, and the uh, uh, deeper momentum trades because what happens you'll get deeper momentum trades sometimes this will be a momentum trade right here so if you put a very if you put a zero you're not going to catch this but if you put two or below very shallow retracement you'll catch this you put you know four below you'll catch this so depending how what retracement you guys want i'll show you how to do that also tomorrow night